Greetings everyone. I am Dhruv Panchal, co-founder and CEO of Vyad Aerospace Private Limited. Delighted to share groundbreaking research elucidating the fundamental cause of asymptomatic strokes and massive heart attacks. In collaboration with Professor VRS Kumar, a rocket scientist and his international team, we have unveiled a significant breakthrough concerning multiphase flow choking within the cardiovascular system. These are the nominated speakers. We have identified two distinct form of flow choking. First is stenosis induced and second is boundary layer blockage induced sunal flow choking triggered by gas evolution in the CVS. Our research highlights the critical pressure ratio leading to flow choking and subsequent shock wave generation. Importantly at elevated pressure like high systolic blood pressure, nanofluid exhibit a compressible viscous flow pattern within a nanoscale tubes con contributing to sunal flow choking linked to neurological disorder such as Moya Moya disease. It is essential to grasp that when the internal to external pressure ratio of gas filled small bubbles within the cardiovascular system surpasses the critical threshold pressure ratio upon their raptor, shock waves are produced increasing the risk of cardiovascular health. An in vitro study performed at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. We have observed that water vaporization occurs at 40 degrees Celsius and 55.328 millimeters of mercury is crucial, particularly for individuals susceptible to gas evolution and tiny bubble formation or we can say embolism, including those with COVID-19 symptoms. We have identified various factors influencing cardiovascular risk such as ejection fraction, visceral geometry, DBP and blood pressure ratio contributing to flow choking and shock wave generation, impacting artery stiffness. To mitigate flow choking risks, it's crucial to maintain a blood pressure ratio below a critical threshold and ensure DBP remains higher than blood vapor pressure. Increasing blood heat capacity lowers vapor pressure, delaying flow choking and reducing cardiovascular risks in gravity and microgravity settings. Astronauts can utilize ambulatory blood pressure measuring devices to monitor blood pressure ratio, countering risks before the before reaching critical pressure ratio, governed by the heat capacity ratio of evolved gas. This methodology marks a significant advancement in managing flow choking due to gas evolution or embolism. In summary, we have found that in addition to boundary layer induced flow choking and shock wave generation, shock waves occur within circulatory systems when gas filled tiny bubbles collapse due to an internal and external pressure ratio surpassing the choking pressure threshold. This phenomenon can lead to neurological disorders in both gravity and microgravity environments. The bubbly flow phenomenon commonly arises during cavitation, particularly when diastolic pressure drops below the blood vapor pressure. Our discoveries are supported by existing data indicating that water vaporizes at 40 degrees Celsius under a pressure of 55.4 mm of mercury. To address this concern, enhancing the blood heat capacity may be necessary to lower the blood vapor pressure, potentially extending human longevity and reducing mortality linked to shockwave related cardiovascular risks. Further investigations are underway led by Professor VRS Kumar and our international research team. Thank you NASA for the opportunity to present this groundbreaking research at the 2024 NASA Human Research Program Investigators Workshop.